this is my new YouTube channel. I just made it. And I was going to show y'all how to make a soap souffle, right? But um, all you need is a bowl of water, a knife, um, ivory soap bar, and a plate. That's all you need. Um, how to, as for assistance with the knife. But um, you're supposed to, if um, you are a young young child like a very young child, five, six, if you want to do this, make sure you ask an adult to help you with the knife part, please. Because I don't want my experiments to hurt somebody. But um, all you need is a ivory soap bar, a plate, a bowl of water, and a knife. That's all you need. And what happens is, well, what you do this by unwrapping your soap bar, your ivory soap bar and wrap it fully. Don't leave any paper on it. See, like this. And then I'm going to move my bowl of water and I'm going to place a dry ivory soap bar in there. And as you see, I don't know if you can see this yet or not, but ivory soap is the only soap bar that can float. As you see this, you see it floats in the bottom, um, water. All, I need y'all to flip it around so it'll actually work. It all needs to be wet. And um, if you try, you're supposed to have three other bars of other soap brands, and you put it in the water. But I've made these. I've made this before, and they just sink. This kind doesn't. This kind floats, not don't sink. So as you see, I'm just grappling, I'm just putting it in here. And guys, there's this science book at Publix. I'll show y'all at the end of the video. And you need a microwave, don't forget about the, that's the special ingredient. So when you were done, you would kind of wring your soap bar out. And there's my bowl of water, I'm going to scoot it over. I'm going to, and I have this dial so far. I'm going to put the ivory back in there. And I'm going to put this in there. And I'm going to show y'all that. I don't know if it says three other soap brands. So I don't know if this will sink or not. But it says that any other soap brand would sink. Yep. See, as you can see, the purple sunk and the white's still up. The purple's down. See, this is a dial soap bar. If you just drop it in there and it'll sink. The ivory, it has a special thing in it and it floats. It just makes it float. And, um, yes. I'm going to lay my dial soap on a tray. And it just works because air is whipped into the soap during the project. Um, when you were done, when you're done, I would do this. I'm going to wash my hands because they're all soapy and I don't want to cut my hands. So I'm going to rinse my hands off real quick. And dry them off. Just to be safe because I don't want to cut my hand. But you would dry your hands off if you want to do it that way. And then you would get your parent, or if you're old enough to do this, cut it straight down in the middle. And then straight down the side like this and then when you were done cutting you would lay your phone your knife to the side put your livery uh, ivory soap bar in the middle of your plate and then you would pick your plate up and guys if you bought all the ingredients and you don't have a microwave and you're doing this right now you're in very bad luck because the special ingredient is really the microwave so, you're supposed to put it in there for two minutes and stop it every minute. But if your plate isn't big enough, then you would stop it, like, when it gets around eight, seven of the, of the other minute, of the other minute. It would be, like, one minute and seven or eight seconds, and then you would take it out because your plate's not big enough. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and press two and watch carefully it'll take it a second to
to do what it's supposed to do, but it'll like, as soon as it starts to do what it's supposed to do, I'll explain it to you. So as you see, that one moved and it's puffing up in the microwave. And um, they're just doing that because it's the way ivory soap works. If you wet it and then cut it into halves, like four halves, like it's supposed to be cut in, it'll, and then put it in heat, it'll start to like explode. Like it fluff up, like fizz up. Just like a, when you explode a Coke, it would do the same thing. But the Mentos put, the Mentos make the Coke want to explode. And as you see, I'm around nine, eight se seconds and it's puffing up. I'm going to let it run for the last two minutes. And as you see, I'm not going to touch this yet. Well, I am, because it's cool. But um, if you don't puff it up fully, then there will be tiny, tiny bits of soap in it, and it'll just feel weird, and that'll stay warm for most of the time. And um, it'll be harder to play with it, as you see. It's like, it's just like soap. You can still wash your body with this, but I would like roll it up into, what? I would roll it up into a ball and squish it together, then wet it, and then wash your body with it. Because it says on a YouTube video I watched, don't waste your soap. So you can do that. It works just the same. It's just, it'll feel weirder on your body because it's all crinkled up like this. And see right here, there's a soap bar right there in the middle of that. I don't know if you can see it, but it's hard, kind of. And it's like soft right there. But I'm going to let it heat up for the other minutes. And we'll see what happens next. Guys, if I was you, I would not touch it as soon as it was done puffing up. Be and because it gets really hot and on... I tried to make a last YouTube video. My sister poked me in the head with the secret wand thingy, and um, it was so hot, I stuck my finger under it. It, it hurts. Oh, jeez. Well, I'm gonna give it another second, and guys, if your mom gets worried that it'll stick, it will stick, but all you have to do is rub it off. But, um, it's going to get the wall, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. Uh, I'm not going to touch that just yet. I'll touch this and start getting it off. And as you see, it's just the same as soap. It's, I'm just going to wad this up more. And then, please. And you, I'm wadding it up on a plate so I can let it heat up for the other 19 seconds. Because my microwave's not as big as some microwaves, and I have to um, wad it up some, and then let it go some more. Because I want the whole livery soap bar, I mean ivory soap bar, to um, be this kind of fluffed up thing. And there you go. And then you would take the plate. If you would like to, you can just let it sit in the microwave for a minute. That's what I'm going to do. But I'll demonstrate the one I already have that I made a minute ago because that's really hot. So, oh, that'll be okay. And see, this one's not as hot. It still has some ivory, I guess, ivory soap inside of it. That's paper. I don't know why I thought it was this. It has ivory soap in it still, so that's why this one didn't work fully out. But I'll see if you can see the soft right here. And I'm going to check on this one while y'all are um, right there. The plate's still very hot. So if I was you, I would get mitts or um, paper rag. But can you see the difference how one's fluffier than the other? I want y'all to comment down below if you're early enough. See how this one's fluffy and this one's not? As you see that this one's fluffier is because it heat it was heating up more. And you can see that it's cool on the other side. Ew, that's so disgusting. But um it's fluffy on the other side, like it feels softer. And um this is just the dried up kind and this is the
actual kind. I did this one correctly. That one wasn't correctly. So I was. I'm going to get this up before that dog eats it. And um. So yeah, guys, this is how you do it. And I made this kind a long, long time ago, like maybe four or five months ago. I've had it in my bedroom. It's all dried up, like this one, kind of. But guys, thank you for watching. Can you please give me a huma humongous thumbs up and subscribe to my channel? Bye.